know what they're saying. It has never been cooler to be a geek. So today we are tapping into and optimizing our inner geek with Stefan Spencer. Stefan, thank you so much for being here. Tom Hanks is so into space, he's the ultimate space geek. And Rosario Dawson is a Trekkie, a Trek, Star Trek geek. Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio is a Star Wars geek who is so into Star Wars. He has the Star Wars collectibles collection that was so large, taking up so much space in his ho house, he donated it all to charity. Oh. Yep. So geeks are cool, and being a geek is something to be proud of these days. So, in fact, 87% of the general population say they do not sneak their geek, meaning that they are not hiding potentially embarrassing passions or interests. Wow. So, yeah, it's, it's being cooler and cooler to be a geek every single day. So, why don't we find out if you guys are geeks. I got and, my glasses going. I and got, our I audience members, too, okay. by taking the geek quiz. I love okay. it. All right, so let's do it. Question number one. Do you have do you take pride in your geek toys like collectibles and action figures like Leonardo DiCaprio? I don't have any, do you? I don't. Okay. Question two. Do you own a drone? I don't, but there was one at my wedding. Does that count? <laughs> Question three. Do you have more than 50 apps installed on your phone? I do, yeah. Yeah. That yeah, would make you a yeah. tech geek. All right, tech geek. Question four. Is your movie music, video game, book, or comic book collection a source of pride? Um, nah. My video game collection, I'm, I might be there. Okay. Okay. Wow, okay, are. question five. Have you ever worn character clothing outside of Halloween, including pajamas? Geek. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, I just wore <laughs> oh, my Spider-Man my costume <laughs> like two weeks ago. <laughs> okay, I got you there. Question six. Have you ever been to Comic-Con, WonderCon, or VidCon? I've been to Comic-Con once. No, but yeah, I want to That's a tall tale one, right there. Okay. okay. Okay, question seven. Have you worn a smart watch, or do you wear a smart watch, smart glasses, or a fitness tracker? I have worn a fitness tracker. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Question eight. Have you ever taught yourself an artificial language, like Klingon or Elvish? Geek. <laughs> I have not. No, that's really funny, though. Okay. <laughs> question nine. Have you ever seen more than two Star Wars, Star Trek, or Harry Potter movies? Okay, this is yes. where I win the geekdom. I've read all the Harry Potter books oh, twice, and I've seen all the movies at least twice. Okay, yeah. and final question here. Okay, you guys ready? Have you ever named a pet, child, or computer after a superhero or, or a comic character? No, my no I haven't, out. but our cameraman sure has. He's Aaron is, is uh, raising his hand to all of these. <laughs> so you said if you answer yes to three or more. Right, so if you answered yes to one, you are possibly a geek. Two yeses and you're probably a geek. Three or more and you're definitely a geek. I was uh, in there three or more. Yeah, we're geeks. Yeah, and then I know you're even going to optimize that even more with us with a couple of yes. uh, gadgets. I, I, I have something that will make you into the ultimate geek. I'm ready. Okay, so let's start with the Muse Meditation Helper. Okay, so it goes behind your ears. You need this one, you need the meditation. All right, behind, like this? Yep, there you okay. go. perfect. You gotta put it over your ears. Oh, okay, okay. I'm new at this. Yep. And then put this back here. All right, I'm in. So you could, I don't know if it's gonna hook on, but it's looking it's, good. It's close. Yeah. Looking good. So what this, does it do? Well, that one is for meditation, mm -hmm. and there's a, a matching app that goes with it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so it helps you to get your brainwave states into a really cool place. This is the Zio. Okay. It's a sleep tracker. All right. That's that's a good look, especially yeah, at night that. with your significant other. Yeah, I can uh, I can vouch ready, for that girl. one. <laughs> okay. Next up, this is the Hilby Gobi Health Tracker. So that goes on your wrist. Okay. okay. Wrist. Okay. Yep. This one is the Spire. It's a mindfulness and breathing tracker. So you can okay. give that one a go. Just right. clip it on somewhere. Done. I've got this. Okay, and, and last but not least, I brought my Iron Man costume that I'll be wearing at Comic-Con. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, there's the vest. That's amazing. Now, and I'll put this the helmet is, on. This is not something that you would wear as protective clothing, just so you know. No. You just All put right. this on for a... 
random day. I love that you're doing this right now. So, Stefan, you also have a formula to share with us this morning. I do, and it's the geek formula for optimizing your inner geek. Because now it. we know that you guys are geeks. Obviously. And a lot of the folks in the audience are. We know that, uh, you know, it's totally awesome to optimize in, through your various geek gadgets and tools. Love it. And now we're going to optimize our inner geek so that we can be our best selves. So that's the geek formula, G, gratitude, okay? I recently interviewed Harville Hendricks on the Optimize Geek podcast, and he said the most important thing for your relationship is to express three things that you appreciate about your significant other every wow. single day. He has been doing this for the last 18 years with his wife. He hasn't missed a single day. Wow. Yep. All right, so I've been doing you. that. I've been doing that with my fiance over the last month. It's already made a huge oh, impact. I love that. Yeah, and so we have E. E. Establish habits. Positive habits like being grateful and meditating and doing yoga practice are great ways to optimize your inner geek. Now you have to establish the habits and keep them in order to take that next step. The next E is, is examine. Examine everything. Everything. Byron Katie told me you need to question every one of your thoughts because a lot of times, you know, if you're not thinking critically, many of these thoughts aren't even true. Right. And then finally, K, knowledge is power, right? So keep learning. A big reason why I have my podcast, interviewing all these New York Times bestselling authors and, and other experts, sharing this information with the world is because I want the knowledge for myself. <laughs> All right, I, well, I apply for that now. reasons as well. Totally. I'm going to remind everybody the, how they can listen to that podcast and get more of that knowledge from you. But we want to exactly. thank you so much for stopping in. All right. Well, thanks for having me. Absolutely. You can subscribe to the Optimized Geek podcast by visiting optimizedgeek.com.